is a Figma prototype and it has so many noodles. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing great as always. Today's a fun, exciting UXE kind of day. Mainly because we're really getting into like Figma today, which is great because today is actually the first day of the Config Conference, which is Figma's annual <laughs> big conference. And I was just watching, and I think I put in some clips of the first like keynote speaker, which is the CEO, and they're rolling out some good stuff, guys. I was like, font preview, finally. Dev mode, give it to me. So I'm feeling very excited about UX and design in general. So I think today's a perfect day to film this video. I've been doing a couple videos about UX portfolios. And today I decided that I'm going to redesign one of my portfolio projects. Not the whole project, because we'd be here for literal hours, but literally just one page on one case study of one project in my portfolio, just, you know, to, you know, be conscious of everybody's time. So that is what we're going to do today. That's why I've got my laptop out. I will pop over to my screen in a little bit, but just wanted to give you guys some context. If you guys are new here, my name is Stephanie. I'm a new UX designer, almost been designing for a year now. Um, so if you like UX design, if you like lifestyle, if you like books, any kind of stuff like that, that's really my jam. Um, I hope you think about subscribing, joining the fam over here. And yeah, we're going to do some fun Figma stuff, guys. If you... <laughs> This is really more geared towards bootcamp students. If you are not learning Figma, what are you doing? You need to be learning Figma. You need to be learning Figma. As you guys know, Figma and Adobe, it was like an acquisition deal where Adobe bought Figma last fall. And I saw that Adobe XD was like removed from Adobe's website as one of the options. I think you can still use it if you have it, if you're like a credit card subscription, but it's going away guys. And I don't know about the fate of sketch. So Figma is where you need to be. If you're trying to get started on Figma, I do have um, a link down in my description for the regular basic free Figma plan with then also the professional plan. Guys though, and I'm lucky to get Figma through my job, obviously that's what we use. So it's the professional like paid plan. A lot of their um, features that they talked about today are not going to be on the free plan. And I don't know exactly what the price is for the professional plan. I might put it on the screen somewhere once I figure it out. So many of their good features are only on the professional plan. Don't know exactly what the breakdown is gonna be. Like I swear to God, if font preview is on the professional plan, I'm on the professional plan, guys. I highly recommend it. So check out the link in my description for those codes to get you started on Figma. And yeah, with that guys, let's get started. Let's redesign this portfolio. Just to give a little context, the project that I'm going to be working on is called House to Home. And this was my second project that I did in my bootcamp with Springboard. I'll get into more Springboard stuff about Springboard later. So with this project, this is the one where we had to pick, um, there's already like topics already assigned or like ideas. And then you just had to design around the idea. Um, and like the research was already given to you um what else was already given to you no no no. sorry this one was the google venture um project so this was a design sprint a google venture style design sprint on agile methodology so it was pretty much we had to design this within five days so that's why like the personas were already given to us the research was already done it was mainly about like following through that process um and in my case today i kind of break it down a little bit more but let me just show you the prototype. Just so you can kinda get a sense of what this is. So this is the first page. Get your starter kit now. And the whole thing, the way that this works is that you are on this website, house to home, you're looking for interior design stuff for your house, decor, that kind of thing. You're taking a style quiz that's gonna figure out what your design style is. You're gonna pick pieces and that's gonna get sent to you. So briefly. I will click through this. Um, you're then gonna click, pick through your favorite rooms. And let's see if I can remember my hotspots. I can, okay, great. We're gonna hit next. And then it's gonna ask you how many items do you need? I think I said one to five. My budget was 200, okay. And then this is like what comes up immediately, like per your style. And then you can customize, you can add things. And I think I'm gonna, customize because I don't like this initial floor lamp so I'm gonna pick which one did I pick that one okay here we go um okay and so did you guys see that 
you immediately, you pick that and then you check out and then you're like already at the screen. So this checkout screen is what I'm actually gonna be redesigning. Looking at just the checkout page right here, and there's just a lot of things that I want to change. I know I can't change everything. So I'm literally only giving myself 30 minutes because I've got other stuff to do today um, to make the adjustments. So I wrote over here just quickly some things that I wanted to change, maybe show some kind of outline of the checkout process, increase security measures at checkout. So some kind of badging or something, being able to update the quantity and remove items. You can see the quantities, you just can't remove or update um continue shopping or checkout i'm not going to do that in this case because let's say you're already at the checkout page so i'm going to remove that one and then include some kind of delivery date range there's like nothing in here about specifically shipping times um being able to make any edits to this information as well as maybe a progress indicator and then some overall ui updates so <laughs> that's kind of a lengthy list but i was kind of just looking at this just with my eye now that it's been almost God, when, is, when did I do this project? May, June of 2021? Holy God, guys, it's like two years ago. Something like that. Um, so yeah, obviously I have grown as a designer and I just kind of want to make these adjustments. So I am going to do that. You're going to see me work through this kind of quickly. I'll come back and explain how I did, why I'm doing it. And yeah, we'll go from there. didn't get everything done like I wanted to, but I feel like I got most things. Um, I made just the page itself longer because you're on a web, you can scroll. And then I liked kind of just boxing things in a little bit more, I changed the background color. Um, and there's a couple of things that I didn't do. Like I didn't do um, progress indicator. I think that makes more sense if it's multiple pages, but I wanted to keep everything on just one page. So that's why that's not on there made a lot of ui updates i just like that this looks a little bit cleaner a little bit easier to read added some like little security badges so people know that it's safe able to update the quantities at least the edit option to do that that's on there delivery date range included as well also payment options okay so yeah i feel pretty good about it there's still a lot that i could do to it but i gave myself a 30 minute time limit just to show you guys that not you can only do so much and you can always keep designing. Design is never done. Design is never perfect. One of the config speakers just said, we are marching towards perfection. We're not at perfection, which I really liked because you're always continuously working towards a completed finished product. So there's a lot of good stuff that's happening here. I was mentioning in my little thing, like the font preview I'm already using, amazing. So this was the perfect day to film this. So that's really exciting. That is how I redesigned it. I did just want to talk a bit about Springboard really quickly. This is a project that I did during my boot camp with Springboard, and I just wanted to show the evolution of how far I've come even in this short amount of time since I created this. And I really enjoyed my time with Springboard because of the different types of projects that you got. Like this was like I mentioned, the Google Venture Design Sprint. A lot of these things that I picked up in bootcamp, I've applied in my current role. And just even looking back now, I can see the things that were really useful and really good resources. What I will say about Springboard is that it really allowed me to build a strong portfolio. Like I feel even looking back on this, there's obviously stuff that I would change, but overall I felt really strongly about the work that I created. Whenever I was in interviews, my portfolio was always well received. It was always the experience part that was tricky. So that's why I really recommend it because like I always say, the portfolio is your bread and butter. So if you can nail that guys, you're just way better for it. There is a link down in my description box for a thousand dollars off any of the courses. They do have a couple of cohorts starting. 
and the way Spring Board works, it's not like every single day you can sign up, but the next cohorts are, um, just looking at my list here, July 10th, August 7th, September 5th. So if you're watching this right now or recently, you can get in on the July 10th. Check out the link below. Code is Stephanie M. That'll get you a thousand dollars off any of the courses. So check it out up this video i really hope this was helpful for you guys i'm just gonna spend the rest of the day working and watching more of this config conference this is just day one so so far a lot of good stuff so it's an exciting time to be in ux design so let me know if you guys have any comments questions all that good stuff i hope you think about subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next one